All right, you guys, I have um, an extra credit opportunity for you. Uh, all you need to do is make some personal flashcards um, so that you can continue to learn English. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, during the break with all this time away from school. Uh, I decided, OK, I'm going to uh, spend some time learning Swahili because so many of you out there uh, speak Swahili. So I would like to know some more. So all you need to do is go to uh, quizlet.com, Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T.com. And then you're going to click on Create. All right, and let's call this, I'm going to give it a title, Mr. Lang's Swahili English Set. Okay. And Create. And then over here where it says enter term and then enter definition, you can either put English on one side and, and whatever uh, language you speak on the other side. Uh, some of you speak a lot of English and, and you might want to just have um, words and definitions to, to challenge yourself more. Uh, but for me, my Swahili is so bad. It's so, wait, 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 don't tell me. Mbaya. Um, I, I'm at level zero in Swahili. So, uh, I've got a list on my phone, so I'm just gonna go with it. So my first word is Murua, Murua, which is excellent. Okay. Oh, and then over here, it says choose language. So if you do, um, decide to use a language other than English, like your own language, um, that's definitely not English. There it is. Swahili. All right. So if you can make a bunch of these, maybe make 50 of them and then post your finished quiz uh, online on, on uh, the classroom, then I will go ahead and give you some uh, extra credit points that will go towards your quiz grades. Um, I think what I can do is if you make 50, I, I will give you uh, 10 extra quiz point grades which might not sound like much, but I think it'll, it'll be something. So we'll start with that. Um, and you've got to promise that you'll actually spend some time doing these words. Okay. Cause I might quiz you on, on the words that you choose. Let me do a few more. So I've got, um, let's see. Okay. Here's, here's one that I want. Um, it's what's up. What's up? Which is Mambo VP. Okay, Mambo VP. What's up? Hey, Mambo VP. I'm just going to do a couple more for you while you're there or while you're watching. Um, oh, I don't know how to say niece. That's a good word. Niece is Bwawa Kike. Bwawa Kike. Nice. We just do a couple more. Okay, I did not. Let's see. Oh, parents. I don't know parents. Wait, is that Wanga Wanga Fuzi? <sighs> Wazazi. Wazazi. That was terrible. So Wazazi would be parents. What is Wanga Fuzi? Is that students? I think that's students. I told you I don't know very much. Um, no, I can not get that way. Let's see. Oh, husband. Here's a good one. Mume. Mume. Husband. And then, so every time you just add a card. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. So, so. Hivio, hivio. That's so fun to say. Hivio, hivio. Does everyone know what that is? So, so. How's your day? Hivio, hivio. Okay, and, and one more. Oh, Shangazi ant. Okay, so here's a good list. Okay. And when you're done, and I'm not actually done, I, I, I don't think a list of seven words is, is very much, but I'm just showing you how to do this. 
You're going to click Create. Okay, and now I can test myself, I think, if it works. I don't want to share this with the world yet. Look, Murua. What is Murua? Excellent. Murua. Okay, and then I can do the next one. Mambo Vipi. What's up? Is it what's up? Yeah, it's what's up. Okay. Mwa wa Kike. I think that's niece. Yes. Wazazi. Um, Wazazi parents. Yes. Mume. Mume, 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 mume. Husband. I should know. I am one. Okay, and then Hivyo, Hivyo. So so. Eh, how was your day? So so. Okay. And then I think there's a way, if you want, let's see. I think there's a way to, to change the order. Here, let me pause this so you don't have to see me figure this out. One moment. Okay, and I'm back. Um, I wanted to figure out how to, how to reverse the terms and definitions. So what you do, you go to where the cards are, like this one is Hivyo Hivyo, which is so-so. And then you're going to find the pen or pencil icon. These are all called icons, the symbol. Click on Edit. Okay, and then there's this uh, icon with the arrows, and it says flip terms and definitions. So you can do it that way. So now I'm going to have excellent. So the, the language that I'm more familiar with personally is English, way more. Okay, so this will be a bigger challenge. Now I'm going to do done, and then I'm going to go back to the cards, and it says so so which is hivya hivya or hivya hivya let's see hivyo hivyo ah no good and then ant which is uh, i don't remember shangazi shangazi wasn't there a movie named shangazi no oh i'm thinking of shazam <laughs> So this will be much better for me. Um, and then, of course, you, you guys all know this probably, right? You can go to learn. And learn will help you to learn. Okay, so definitely if I have a, a, a multiple choice test, it's easier for me, me to identify. I think ant is wawakike. Yes. No. <laughs> Idiot. That's niece. Don't call yourself an idiot, okay? Um, parent is Azazi, yes. Right, and excellent is Murua, yes. And what's up is Mamu Vipi, okay? So you can you can test yourself on all your new words. Please, 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 please come back to school in August with more English knowledge, okay? Don't waste your time. Don't waste your days, okay? I'm going to spend a lot of my days learning this language. I'm hoping that uh, that when I see you again, I, I will know much more of this language. So this is my own personal challenge. And I hope that your personal challenge is to get better at English so that you don't have to spend years and years and years in my class. Okay, you guys take care. Let me know if you have any questions. 10 extra credit points if you do a set of 50. Take care. And bye.